Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be taking a look at a brand new ransomware called Black Claw, which is quite destructive even though at first sight it does resemble something like Jigsaw. Now interestingly, when I first came across this sample, it was already picked by 17 engines out of 71, and Microsoft was one of them. And as of uh, 5th of June, they've even added it to their threat encyclopedia. Looks like Microsoft is finally upping its game when it comes to recognizing ransomware and categorizing it early. Hey, maybe my Windows Defender and ransomware test videos help. <laughs> but coming back to our sample, as you can see, this is a fairly small file. It's only 82.5 kilobytes. It looks fairly benign to the untrained eye. We'll try to open it up in PStudio and get some more info. Let's see, what have we got here? So. The file description says it's service host, pretty common name for malware since it is a legitimate Windows process that's running all the time. Interestingly, it's coded in Visual C Sharp. The reason it's interesting is because this should be really easy to identify and disassemble to some extent. If we go into the strings, I'm pretty sure we'll already notice some things, like we've got a lot of blacklisted strings already. C Sharp scripter, that's what the file name is. And if we go into the actual PDB name, we can see that, well, Scott Visual Studio 2017 projects, ransomware. Guys, there are better projects you can do. But anyway, from the MITRE perspective, we've got obfuscation, execution, dynamic library linking, diagnostic, and cryptography, most of which are benign other than maybe obfuscation. But let's take a look. Now, apart from the first few, it doesn't look like there's a lot of identifiable strings here, so we should probably just move on. Oh, wait, there's more. This thing is loaded. But you know what? There's probably a better way to do this. Let's open it up in DNSpy and see what we can find. And for those of you waiting for the ransomware execution, don't worry, we'll be doing it. Let's build it up first, okay? So we're going to try and decompile this. C sharp scripter and let's see what it is up to. So let's go into the actual main form. I guess that would be interesting. So protected override void, um, bool disposing. Now there's an interesting flag, a lot of switch statements. And it's funny that most of this code is just readable because usually it's not. Now we've got Ridge and Dale, that's a common encryption method. For those of you unfamiliar with cryptography, Rigendell is basically just AES. Not exactly if you're talking technical terms, I think it's the superset of AES, but usually when people are using the Rigendell managed function in their program, they're trying to implement AES. Now we've got crypto stream write, and there's a local variable of an array that they're likely using to store stuff. Now, while this does seem fairly easy to read, and therefore you might compare it with something like Jigsaw, but as far as I'm aware, I don't think it's decryptable unless you actually intercept and store the network traffic while it executes. So keep an eye on the process activity as we go ahead and do that. So our ransomware is ready, it's hungry. We've got the forest backdrop to go with it. Do you hear the howling in the distance? Maybe some wolves with a black claw. I'm scared, guys. Do we do this? <laughs> okay, let's go for it. As you can see, we've got the process running already as service host, and it should take action relatively fast. We're seeing a lot of high CPU usage, as you would expect from ransomware encrypting our files. And after a few minutes, our desktop goes black. I guess that's the, I guess that's the ransomware equivalent of the lights going off in a horror movie. But let's go ahead and take a look at our files and see what might be going on. So if we go to documents, we've got this weird file name with the B claw extension. We've also got a recover your files HTML application. We've also got one on the desktop. Over on pictures, same story. So let's go ahead and run this and see what it says. And as you can see, we have the ransom note. 
All your files have been encrypted with AES plus RSA due to a security problem with your PC. I like how ransomware authors are slowly transitioning into tech support now. Maybe the fake Indian Microsoft tech support. <laughs> Maybe it's the same guys. Maybe they just learned encryption now. If you want to restore them, write us an email and attach one of your encrypted files less than one megabyte to bclaw at, okay, I'm not going to read this name, or send a message to our Telegram account. Include this ID in your messenger email. You have only 48 hours to contact us. When this time ends, the price will be twice as much. And we've got the countdown similar to Jigsaw. And then it says free decryption as guarantee. Before paying, you can send up to one file for free decryption. Well, <laughs> what do you mean up to one file? Like, can I send half a file? Quarter of a file? Is that how it works? As usual, you've got uh, instructions on how to obtain Bitcoin, I guess, if you're new. Attention, do not rename the files. Huh, that sounds interesting. So I'm going to try to do just that. So quick Alt F4 out of that. Let's see what happens if we try and rename one of these. Hmm. Well, I mean... I don't know if you guys can see this, but my house didn't just break down and collapse. The world hasn't ended. I don't see a nuclear explosion anywhere in the horizon. The sun's still in the sky. The sky didn't just go black like my desktop screen. Okay, maybe that was just an empty threat. But let's go ahead and open the file. Does this uh, help us? No. So unfortunately, it does look like the encryption is actually functional. For a second there, you might have gotten your hopes up thinking, hey, why did they say don't rename your files? Maybe it's just, maybe that's all they do is rename the files, but no. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised since there's a lot of similar C-sharp ransomware that will just uh, rename your files or do something funny, but not this one, at least as far as I can tell. So I guess beware the black claw. If you use Windows Defender, make sure that it is up to date because as I pointed out early on, this is detected by Windows Defender. So if you have it active and updated, you should be okay. It's still early days for this threat. I think we could see people getting infected and attacked. So share the video and hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security channel. By the way, if you're interested in our cool summer desktop backgrounds, we've got quite a few of them. I'm just going to show some of them to you right now. So let's go to shared folders, TPSC wallpapers. Oh, they're encrypted, of course. <laughs> I guess I'll just do it on my host. So as you can see, we've got some really nice wallpapers. And we're going to do something experimental. So we're going to set up like a Patreon subscription where you get all the latest wallpapers that I ever make. And I'll make sure to regularly update that. So if you're interested, you can support the channel and join us on Patreon. The link will be on the description or you can just go to patreon.com slash TPSC for the PC security channel. There's a lot of exciting stuff coming up. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always... Stay informed, stay secure.